Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today we're going to talk about conditional formatting, independent shading, and probably a couple other names that you might call it. When you're done with watching the video, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and especially leave comments. Let me know what you'd like to see me work on. So we have sales, profit, and average order amount for our customer list. And we have different profit levels. I'm going to show you what this looks like because it's kind of important. You see here that we've got a fixed formula here and because we want to have the level determined by the total amount of profits or sales associated with a customer. And that's what this will give you here is it's going to total up all the different orders to give us a total profit. And if it's over $2,000, they're elite, over a thousand premiere, over zero at select, watch and alert. We're going to see the same thing under sales, except instead they've got gold, silver, bronze, yellow. And once again, you have this fixed formula up here. We want to look at the sum of the sales for all of the customer. Otherwise, this will. Um, this will evaluate based on the order, and that's not what we want. Now we want to have the sales be colored based on the level, same with the profit. What we're going to do is we're going to actually duplicate this. I always like to duplicate, makes it easy. And we'll call this sales. And now I'm going to bring the sales level. Let me get rid of the profit and the order. I'm going to bring the sales level over because what we're going to do, we don't want the text. We want, originally I start looking at the square and you resize it. The problem with this is when you select an item, it selects a much larger section. It overlaps into the other the customer names. That's not what we want. We actually want a bar. You can see it doesn't really work. And so what we're going to do is I created a separate field called square size, and I just gave it a constant number, one. And so I'm going to bring this over, and I'm going to drop this on the size. And so now you can see it's doing the sum. So if there's more records, it's sum. So what you want to do is you want to change this to average so that every cell or every customer name will have a one. That'll be the value. And now when you select on it, it's the right size. It doesn't overlap into the other customers. Now it's the full value. Now look what happens when you bring it down. It gets smaller. Now think of these as horizontal bars. All of them have a value of one, and so they go all the way to the end. And all you're doing here is your decreasing the size of the bar. And so you can leave it with space or not. Okay, and then I will come up here to color, to edit the color so they match up what I want. Okay, gold is what I want. Bronze, I don't like that color. I usually go to Tableau 20, and I choose this mustard color here for the bronze. Yellow, uh, orange is gold, red, Silver, I usually make it this grayish color. It's not perfect. And for yellow and red, I actually come down and use the traffic light color scheme because they seem to me to be a little more vibrant. And I'll hit OK. So you can see who is our uh, red suppliers for sales. You'll notice that the name is gone. So I double click under the columns. We're going to put a heading up there. We're going to call this sales close quotes and now that will show up perfect I'm going to duplicate this now I'm going to make this rename this instead of sales I'm going to rename this profit and I'm going to grab the profit I can just drag it right over to where this profit the sales was it overlaps it or uh, overtakes it or whatever Bring over the profit to the sales level as well, and you can see the colors change, so I need to come back up here to edit colors. 
And we're going to make Elite is gold. Premier is our, we'll come here to Tableau 20, is our silver. And our Select is our, that's the lowest one, Watch. We're going to make that go to stoplight or traffic light, sorry. Going to make that yellow and our alert is red. These are suppliers or customers that have zero profit. You come up to the columns, just double click it, or you could actually, you could right click, edit, and shelf. And you're just going to call this, instead of sales, you're going to call this profit. Okay. So now you've got what you want which you really, really want. Now we're gonna create a dashboard and I'm gonna put in a horizontal container, change the size instead of range, I'm gonna just make this automatic. And we're gonna bring in a customer list and then we're gonna bring in the sales. You can see it's highlighting on the right side, that's what I want. And bring in sales, you can see where I'm gonna drop it. We don't need the average size, and actually we're gonna get rid of this. You could probably keep it if you wanted. The other thing now, we're gonna do some more cleanup. The real trick to this is making sure that all of these line up, so all the way across, you have the same customer. So I usually hide the titles. And then we're gonna hide, oh, we'll have to go to those worksheets and we're gonna hide the customer name, okay? Do the same thing here. It's a little difficult to understand when you've got just the worksheets, but when you come to the dashboard, and you look all the way across, I actually gonna come over here, I'm gonna get rid of the sales and profit. Now we don't have a header, so I'm gonna double click in the columns with quotation marks, average order. Enter. And then I'm going to just expand this a little bit so it's easy to read. Come back to the dashboard and looks pretty good. You've got Alan Domingos, Alan Dominguez, and Alan Dominguez. Now, what you can also do is under dashboard, under actions, we're going to add an action, we're going to add highlight, and this is so that all of them. Highlighted. so that all of them are highlighted so if you select one it highlights all the way across just like you'd expect there you go you'll notice there's a scroll bar here there's another video and I'll link that to the end in the end notes if you scroll here, these are not synced up. The video I'm gonna link up is gonna show you how to link to do synchronized scrolling.